So what would you do if you found a lost phone? Take it to the police? Well, what we're going to do is try and find out whose it is. I think that's the premise of the game. I'm pretty sure that is what we're supposed to be doing. So we're just going to have a little bit of a snoop in someone's phone. Let's have a look in the messages first, because it's just the easiest thing to do. Oh, let's have a look. Fucking hell, this is a massive text ball. I have a new phone. You may... Oh, Sam. Okay, so the bloke's name is Sam, by the looks of it. Yeah, okay. Why are you texting me from your bedroom? I just sent my new number to all my contacts. It wasn't just for you. Why are you replying to me from your bedroom? <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh, that might come in like helpful later. Someone's birthday is usually a password, isn't it? Because I think we are just sort of trying to quote unquote hack the phone. So I guess that we've just got to try and remember quite a little bit of uh, info. Actually, I've got a pad. I'm going to write on my pad. So what is that? The 21st of the 1215. 21st 1215 is. Uh is the date of uh, dad birthday dad b day so remember that because we might need that later i know how these games work i've played one of them before <laughs> not this one just a different one and it tries to be like ooh, guess what you some bloke's fucking birthday that you haven't found out yet and the only way to find out is go through like 70 hoops yeah that's the only way you're gonna find that have fun you're like oh i want to know if melissa will dine with us tonight uh no we've not been getting on uh, men can be complicated too sometimes. You're a brave boy. Melissa is a good girl. She'll come back soon, Dad. Trust me. I can't connect to my emails anymore. <laughs> oh, so we've gone somewhere. I wonder where we've gone. Mum would like to know if Melissa could send her chocolate cake recipe she made for my birthday. Mum told me to remind you about your dentist appointment. Uh, did you get my message about the dentist? Why aren't you answering? I saw that. I was in class. Okay. Your mum made an appointment at the hairdresser for you at 10 a.m. Uh, I don't want to get my hair cut. Make an effort. It'll make your mum happy. Ah, I'm picking up groceries for tomorrow's party. Oh, there's a party. So, apparently, Melissa is someone who's important and is no longer, no longer part of Sam's life anymore, by the looks of it. She seems like the perfect girl for a guy like you. Mum and I thought she was pretty nice, polite, well-behaved and pretty. Just what everyone's looking for in a wife. I don't really want to talk about it. Okay. Uh, you never seem to pay much attention to girls in general. We thought you were really into Melissa. Stop. Happy birthday, son. I'm proud of the man you've become. We'll celebrate properly tonight and prepare for a big party for your 18. Oh, so this guy's quite young then. I thought he was quite, I thought he was old. I suppose that makes sense of why he's like doing dentist appointments and hairdressing appointments for him as well. Uh, where are you, uh, Samuel? Where are you? Uh, oh, so his name's full name's Samuel. Oh, okay, I'll write that down. Sam to Sam U L. Uh, where did you go? We're really worried. Tell us you're fine. Your mum wants to call the police. Can I ring him? Insufficient credit. Oh, of course. So let's head back. Let's go back one. Uh, we've got low fucking hell. That's a lot of people to talk to. Jeez. Uh, can we get into anything else? I wonder. Oh, you've got a fully working calculator. Oh, does it work? Does it work? Oh, it works. Alright, any mathematicians, tell me if that's any good. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. You get to choose your song. Uh, turquoise. That sounds good to me. What's this? Something, something else. Or on a browser. No internet connection. Damn. Huh. Oh, okay, so, so I can try and get... Oh, it's password protected. Fuck. Oh, this is going to be quite difficult. Let's try and get into my email. Oh, I can't, because I need to find... Uh... Oh, woo. Who's this? Picture taken on the 13th. Uh, maybe there's one of, like, the dad on the... on the. Oh, no, this is 2016, isn't it? I'm guessing that's the dad. So that might be... M Sam, maybe? I don't know, because Sam might have been taking the picture. Oh, this, that looks like the fucking background to um, somebody I used to know. Huh. Oh, this is Sam's birthday party. Oh, so 31st of the 1st is his birthday, I think? I forgot to write that down. 31st of the 1st. Uh, well, the, the 16 was this one, but Sam's 18th. That's cool. So I'm guessing that might be his dad, or that might be his dad. Melissa's not there, unless that's Melissa. I don't know. 
So the pictures are quite cool. Um, what about the weather? No internet. <laughs> Uh, settings. Let's have a look. Okay, so the English, uh, the language is fine. Just got to figure out. Just got to figure out a Wi-Fi password. I think it will probably be. Uh, ooh, ooh, it's full on calendar. Movie with Melissa. Book festival. Dad's birthday. Yeah, I got that written down already. Thirty uh, first party with Melissa. Isn't that your birthday? Uh, book club. Movie with Melissa. Feed Ringo. Oh, cool. He's got a dog. T.O., Raymond, and Charlotte's Arrival. Don't know who they are. Ooh. Let's see. Um, maybe I can find the password through here? No, that would be a bit weird. Uh, what, what is this Lovebirds? Sam thing. Sam thing else. Oh, so it's because I'm offline. I've got to figure out how to get into here. Um, I don't know, one, two, three. Ah, oh, fuck, I cancelled it, except... Nah, damn. Melrun Open Wi-Fi. Is there anything that sort of like... Uh... Oh, it says Open Wi-Fi. It shouldn't have a fucking password on it. Oh, it's secured. No. Um... Damn. That's quite difficult. I wonder where, I wonder where that would be. Huh. Uh, maybe there's... Maybe I've got an email, actually. Uh, well, um, a message, should I say. Uh, board games, Melissa... Oh, it's Melissa. Oh. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't too good of a fucking thing to hear, is it? Huh. Can't find anything that's sort of straight related. But I suppose we'll go through some of the thingies. The, yeah, this, these aren't that long. I have a new phone. Okay, so this was all sent out on the 1st of the 12th when he got a new phone. Uh, are you still at the club? I think I forgot my umbrella. I left already, but Alice was staying longer. I'll ask her. She's got it already. Thank you. Cool, no problem. I thought it was weird that she didn't leave at the same time as you. I thought you always went home together. You've been inseparable recently. She's my best friend. Aw, oh, happy birthday, Sam. I hope the cake is great and you get lots of presents. Sophie Board Games. I wonder who that is. Uncle Raimondo. I have a new phone. Nice. Which one was it? <laughs> Fucking caps lock. All the way. How much could you get from your old dad? Hope he's a very got you a very cool one. Not so expensive. I don't need a great phone anyway. Plus Xmas is around the corner and then my birthday. So he promised to make history with my gift then. Oh, that's a bit weird thing to say, isn't it? I don't know what he's got in mind. Ha, he's already dropping hints. I've got a slot idea. Ho, 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 ho. But I won't say a word. All I can say is it's not suitable for little girls. <laughs> <laughs> happy 2016. <laughs> I like that he sent out a fucking um, Happy New Year uh, thingy. That's quite funny. Oh, I get to see you this weekend. Hi, Uncle Ray. Tia already told me. See you soon. Ooh. Oh, ha ha ha. Dumb Tio doesn't know Mauren's Wi Fi password. I need, we need it, I just sent it to him. Ah ha ha ha. There we go. Uh, so I've got to find Tio. Tio shall give me the password. There he is. Where are you? To the top. Let's go through the top. Uh, my mum said we'll go out on Saturday to visit you guys. We c can we watch the race there? She said she'll buy us some pizzas. Which race? Are you fucking kidding me? The World Championship. Oh, what? Football? Or I don't know. Don't you watch the news? You spend too much time playing the harp and hanging around. With <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, that's a bit weird. <laughs> I laugh if you actually full on know how to play the harp. I'd love that would be quite a funny thing to know, because just imagine busting it out at a party, like some bloke does when he gets his acoustic and starts playing Wonderwall. You can just bust out your harp and start like power ballads. You stare at the motorcycles. I'll eat pizza. You can't while you're in the busy playing harp. See you then. Hey, I wanted to ask you about your brother, Eric. I hardly remember anything. He left when I was a kid, and my parents never talk about him. They felt betrayed. I hardly remember him either, but was all, but he was always nice to me. Why betrayed? They were really great parents, and he still ran away like a selfish jerk. I asked once, my mother said he was sort of brainwashed and joined a cult. Yeah, that's it. The bastard abandoned the family, and we don't ex uh, exist for him anymore. That's weird. He joined a cult? This morning, I found an invite to his wedding in the mailbox. I was shocked. That's why I wanted to ask you. What the hell are you talking about? Have you not seen it? No, and I don't want to see it. I don't give a shit. 
Don't you think it's strange? He's inviting us to his wedding. It's not like he doesn't care about us. He's left. That's all I care. Sorry, Tio. I don't want to put, mate. Yeah, I don't want you to be upset. But please check the card for me. Something doesn't fit. I don't even know if we got one. Maybe he only sent it to you. I'll have a check. Hey, I found it yesterday. In the waste paper basket my dad's studio ready to go to the shredder. Did you get it? No, I left it there, of course. Dad was just coming home. I'm dead if he catches me looking around in there. But did you at least read it? It doesn't exactly look like some cult ritual. I understand what you mean. No, it doesn't. Can we talk about it during the weekend when you're here? It's late and I want to sleep. Sure. Uh, we're in Melbourne, stuck in traffic. What's the what a hat? I haven't tried it yet on this new phone, but I guess it hasn't changed. It's Melbourne zip code. Easy. Oh. Um. Fuck. I'm um, just going to quickly... Shit. All right, I'll read through this and then we'll go and find that. Okay. Uh, not enough credit for phone calls. No, I just got in touch with Eric. How? After we talked about last weekend, I checked again. The invitation was still there, so I wrote down the contact details. And is it as we thought? Can you call me? No minutes left until next month. But using the landline here is risky. My parents are home. Shit, my parents too. We can talk tomorrow. I'm meeting my friend Alice. She's got a flat rate plan so I can use her cell. But is everything okay? Just call me tomorrow when you can. Is that friend of yours I met once? The one who plays the harp too. No, it's Victoria. I'll call you in the morning. I'll call you now. Can I call you now with Alice? Yes. Whew. Okay, so. Um... What? I don't... Uh, maybe... Um, is there like a picture that says maybe? Like Malron on it? Possibly? I don't think so, no. Um, Malrin, Malrin. What's the zip code for Malrin? How am I supposed to know? It's not going to be here. It might be in the messages, but I don't know. The browser doesn't work. Music calculator do. But that ain't going to tell me anything, to be honest. Email doesn't work. Weather. Aha! Uh, 29064. Thank God for that. Uh, where is it? Network. Network. Okay. 29064. Awesome. Accept. Oh, lovely. Okay, so first things first. Let's start from top to bottom and start with lovebirds. Because I don't know what the hell that is. What's that Sam thing? Is that protected by a password? Fuck. <laughs> what about the browser? Can we do anything in here, or...? I don't think there's anything I need to do, so I don't mind. Can I... Aha! Emails! Here we go. This is good. This is this is good. We're getting somewhere now. We've sent plenty. There's a couple of drafts. Ooh. Uh... Well, I don't know. What are the, what's the drafts? Aha! Can I send the draft? Oh, Okay. Oh, that's weird. Thanks for the advice. But, you know, I don't attack... Oh, okay, let's read it all so it makes fucking sense. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sam. So, how's it been 18? By the way, really sorry I can't come tonight. I'm too beat. Yesterday, I was emptying through every hole. Goddamn uh, gastroenteritis. <laughs> I really wanted to see you before my flight. We'll exchange emails every day. Ha, charming. And don't worry about tonight. I get it. The party just started and as I feared, it's pretty crummy. My family's nice for setting this all up, but I'm a little tired of how they keep telling me, there it is, you're a man, a real one now. It's a little, it's like a broken record. They're all saying the same thing. Oh, I got an email. Oh, cool. I was reading that, but thanks. Um, uh, there we go. Um, I think some are drunk already. Then I'm not missing much. Also, since we won't be seeing each other tonight, I wanted to tell you something important. So if I can't tell you face to face, I'll tell you by email. I've given it a lot of thought over the last few days while I was sick, and I was thinking you attach too much importance to dates and signs of fate. I think you make too many stupid use of your words, choices based on what you think the calendar is telling you to do. You know you're 18 now, and I can't think of what, uh, and I think you can't make all your important choices based on what you think is a superior entity has chosen for you. Quit trying to read the date the way you read tea leaves. All right, that was a bit raw, especially. <laughs> Especially for telling you happy birthday. But I hope my advice will help you adjust your adult life more sincerely. Okay. So, I'm writing that down. Attaches too much to dates and calendar? Yeah, and calendar. Some, something like that. Something roughly like that. Oh, I wonder if you just heard that, because that was a dirty fucking thunderclap. 
I thought I saw lightning. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, let's finish this off. Okay, so thanks for your advice, but you know I don't attach that much importance to dates. I've got to go. Folks are calling me out and keeping my phone glued to my face instead of enjoying the evening. Plus, my dad is getting ready to give me this big surprise present. I bet it's... Oh, uh, what are you betting it is? And yes, you attach too much importance to dates. I'm sure half of your passwords are just dates that matter to you. Okay, so yeah, that is exactly as I thought. Yeah, I'm glad I wrote down some of the dates. Uh, I think then, this thing is probably going to be... Um, I imagine this is probably going to be his birthday. So, say 3101? 3101, 3101, maybe? Uh, what about 31? How many... How many... Okay, so I can only do four. Uh, what about 2112? 2112? Yeah, I suppose it would be a bit weird to put your dad's birthday as that. Uh, what else have we got that we need to get into? Weather seems to be working. There's a light of rain. That actually makes a bit of sense. It is raining a little bit here. Messages, I can't... I can read all of them anyway. There's nothing... There's nothing that, uh... Seems to be stopping me from doing anything. I think I just need to try and get into this thing now. Maybe maybe it's different for each one. Uh, let's try the th birthday again. 31st of the 1st. Is that his birthday? Or am I wrong? I might be wrong, actually. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, happy birthday, son. 31st of the 1st. Yeah. So, huh. That's odd. Are there any more? Okay, so I've already talked to Alice. I th yeah, I've already spoken to Alice. Uh... Oh, still sick. Hey, Alice, are you feeling better today? Have you seen a doctor? So, prognosis, uh, gastrio and titeris. <laughs> Ouch, hang in there. At least it's just that. Means you should be fine by the next week. I just, I, I can't, I can't say it anymore. It makes me sound stupid. Uh, yeah, true. Actually, good thing that happened now, not during my flight. I love how you always see the silver lining. And I really hope the other passengers think that you'll be healthy for the next time you fly. Ah, la ha, there we go. Ah, okay. Um, uh, so, that's cool, I just need to fit, I wonder if there's any more, aha, yeah, uh, Jean, uh, Susie, uh, Susie, uh, Susie, Susie, fucking hell, we're talking to Susie a lot, uh, I'm hoping down the bottom he might have, like, uh, put in something about his passwords? Uh, ooh. Greetings and welcome to Lovebirds. Uh, maybe... 1701, possibly? Uh, I, I don't know, to be honest. 1701. Nah, I thought not. Um, anyway, I'm gonna end it there, because we've, uh... We found a bit of plot, and we understand roughly what's going on, and the music cut out a little while ago, so it kind of got a bit dead. <laughs> I should put that back on, really. Uh, let's do it for the outro. Yeah, music. There we go. Okay, so the music's not working. Something broke. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, so this will be the end of this one. If you enjoyed it, let me know, and I will continue playing this as like a series if you enjoy it. But obviously, let me know if you are having fun, because obviously it's just me talking and figuring out puzzles on a phone. So I don't know how interesting that is to watch, but... Maybe, maybe you enjoy it, but let me know either way, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.